So here we have a little simulation program to explain Ohm's Law. Commonly seen there, V equals IR, uh, many students have a uh, few issues, first of all with the concept of resistance. So if we look down here, there is our resistor with a few little black dots in there. I, I suppose when we increase the resistance by just moving this little knob up, we see that there are more black dots. So the way it's working it, and in the equation you can see the resistance going up every time I move it up, there are more little black dots, I suppose like more little obstacles for the current to flow through. So we'll bring it down to where we were roughly. And once again, from this equation at the top, you can see that as the resistance goes up, the current goes down. As the resistance goes down, the current goes up. And that's because the two are inversely proportional. Because when you multiply the two, you have a constant value of voltage here. But other things you can do is you can go in and change the voltage. So at the moment it's working on the principle of 1.5 volt batteries. By increasing it, you can add more voltage. We might just try and get it up to two batteries, two 1.5 volt batteries, giving us a voltage of three volts. And then you can check the calculations. Similarly, uh, by moving the resistance up and down, same thing should happen. By increasing the resistance, the current goes down and you can ask your students to check the values by stopping on some reasonable numbers. If you can get it to stop on some reasonable numbers. I'm trying to get to stop on 10 milliamps and it's just my old hands and poor coordination but I'm sure you got the uh, gist. But simply put, if the voltage is constant, in this case at 3 volts, current and resistance are inversely proportional. Okay, good luck.